Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss GCD and LCM. Remember, GCD is the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor, while um, LCM is the least common multiple of a given set of data. Then we are told the, the GCD of three numbers is 30 and the year LCM is 900. Two of the numbers are 60 and 150. What are the other possible numbers? So we're going to work out this problem using the factorization method. That is the surest method of ensuring that we obtain all the possible numbers, starting with the least number. Therefore, the first thing we do is to ensure that both the GCD and the LCM have been factorized and expressed as a product of their prime factors. That is, uh, we express GCD, LCM, and even the available two numbers, we also factorize them. So let me start by factorizing the GCD. So the GCD, which is 30, can be factorized as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Then we have the LCM, which is a 900. 900 can be factorized as 2 power 2, 3 power 2, and 5 power 2. Then they provided two numbers, which are uh, 60. It's one of the numbers. 60 can be factorized into 2 power 2, 3 power 1, and 5. Then now there is the other number which has been provided, the second number, which is 150. This can be given as 2, 3, and 5 squared. So we have factorized the GCD, the LCM, and the provided two numbers. Now, the other thing is to ensure that we get other possible numbers. And I will start by the least possible number. The least possible number. Therefore, what you're supposed to know is that uh, from the numbers provided here, together with the other possible number, we should be able to extract the GCD just as it is, the LCM as it is from the numbers. So if we let the unknown number to be X, and we are saying the numbers are several. So I will start with the least possible number. Let the first number be X, X1, because there will be several. I love X2, I'll go to X3, then I finally have, uh, if a third number is possible, we shall also see it. But let's start with the, uh, the first least number. Okay, in the other number, the prime factors for LCM and GCD must appear, and the least one is 2. Now, when you consider the available numbers, we can see the greatest power is power 2, but amongst the numbers which have been given, there is already a power 2. So because power 2 has been taken care of, now 2 can just be to power 1. It doesn't have to be necessarily to power 2 because power 2 is already existing in 60. The next factor is 3. Now, when you study the provided numbers, which are 60 and 150, and they are factorized form, there is no 3 power 2. But in the LCM, there is 3 power 2. Therefore, because the first two numbers are not containing 3 power 2, now we prioritize 3 power 2 in this new number. So 3 becomes power 2. And the last factor is 5. When you look at the provided numbers, there is already 5 power 2. And in the LCM, there is also 5 power 2, which is the greatest power of 5. Now, in this other number because the provided numbers are already containing 5 power 2 in the second number that is 150 
then this new number should have the factor 5 but it doesn't have to be necessarily to power 2 because in this pool of factors in this pool of factors all of them there is already 5 power 2 so this one can be 5 power 1 and we will be okay therefore the first possible number is going to be 2 times 3 power 2 which is 9 times 5 that is giving us exactly 90. So 90 is the first number and it's also the least possible number. Let's check another possible number. Remember the numbers must be having all the prime factors and what we should ensure is that the prime number should not exceed the least power in the GCD and it should not exceed the greatest power in the LCM. That is to mean we can pick two, we go to three squared because three must be squared. Then even if there is already five power two, we can also five we can also have it power two again because eventually during factorization this factor is the same as this one so the lcm value is not affected and this number is going to be exactly this number yeah this is exactly 450. let's check whether there is another these are all possible numbers another possible number we are saying a uh, even if there is already 2 power 2, we can still have 2 again, power 2. 3 must be squared because the first two numbers are not having 3 squared. And now we can pick 5, power 1. Again, this number together with 60 and 150, they are going to give us exactly 180 and this is another possible number so all these three numbers can be combined with 60 and 150 and the lcm is going to be 900 with the gcd being 30. thank you so much for following subscribe and share